Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Houston head football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, I hit the road this past Saturday, went up to Wilkes and uh, got to a fast start and picked up a pretty important victory. Yeah, it was a good win for us. Um, you know, five turnovers in the first half is, is certainly an impressive number. Something that we talk about often, you know, in the defensive staff room and, and in meetings and such. So for us to get off to that kind of start offensively, obviously we were efficient. Um, I think we left some points out there. Yeah. Uh, I would like to have seen us finish some drives. Uh, but all in all, you know, a good win on the road for sure. Yeah, certainly, you know, first play of the game, you kick off. They fumble the opening kickoff, you take advantage, collect that. And then one play later, you know, you're able, you know, Ryan's able to connect with Keenan on a touchdown pass. And that kind of set the tone except for the first half. As far as the takeaways, like you said, you probably look like they got a few more points in that first half off the five takeaways. Absolutely. We, we definitely felt we could have finished drives better, been a little bit more efficient offensively. So, you know, something, again, to work on and look at this week and, and talk about finishing drives. Um, interesting, you know, we were 5-for-5 five five in the red zone, but weren't able to finish drives on, all, on, on the turnovers in the first half. So, again, something for us to work and build on. Yeah. And in the second half, uh, maybe took advantage of a couple. You guys had a couple of turnovers. They were able to take advantage of those. And um, it was a one-score game in the fourth quarter, and they were driving. They had the ball, a chance to tie or take the lead, and you were able to – Hold it defensively, score a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, you know, we talk about all the time we can't turn the ball over, you know, and that's the fastest way to let somebody back in a big ball game. Um, you know, playing at their place, they were able to steal the momentum in the third quarter, with, you know, with our mistakes. And, um, you know, again, it's a point of emphasis, something we can take and learn from. Uh, but fortunately for us, we were able to come out fourth quarter, close the door, you know, get, get in the end zone twice. So, um, you know, a strong finish. I think, you know, a little bit of focus coming out of the locker room at halftime, which has really been a strong suit for us this year is coming out of the locker room after halftime and, um, you know, putting together a good drive, putting together good defensive stops. And so I think, again, you know, learning and, and, and growing and learning, you know, we've got to play four quarters of football. Yeah. I think it's a good experience, you know, as you head towards the postseason here. You know, you haven't really been in a close game like that in the fourth quarter and to be able to have that experience, to be able to hold them off and, and learn what it takes to finish off the ball game. Absolutely, and we talk all the time about you know playing meaningful games in, in the month of November and December, and um, you know we've got to be a better football team every week, and you know knowing you know what's at stake and in, in, in November and being able to meet that challenge and understand that you know everybody's still in it and you've got to perform at, at your peak in, in as you get into the month of November. Yeah. Yeah, kind of shifting gears a little bit. To, uh, regular season finale this week, uh, home against Lycoming in the senior day. Uh, just talking about the senior classes, man. They, were, you know, they really had a successful four years. The great group of guys, um, strong leaders, great people in the community, great students. Um, all of them are on track to graduate. Um, you know, it's always very odd to go out. You know, for the first practice of spring ball and not see those familiar faces. And this group's special because they've been through a lot of different things. They've um, you know, a couple different defensive coordinators, a couple different offensive coordinators, and and the results, you know, for the most part, have remained the same. And I think it's a testament to their leadership. It's a testament to who they are as people. And and you know, those 17 guys that are going to play their, you know, their final regular season home game, you know, we're certainly going to miss them a great deal. Yeah, and then we'll touch on that more next week. But uh, you know, wrapped up a bowl bid, uh, wrapped up a bowl bid at home this past weekend. Um, what's going to mean to have the opportunity to play a postseason game at home? Um, you know, it's, it certainly is exciting. Um, you know, we haven't played a postseason game here since 2014, so it'll be uh, it'll be nice to not have to scramble on Sunday to find hotels and restaurants and buses. Uh, th that 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 in and of itself is a win for us. Uh, you know, but I, I think for us having an opportunity to play a home game uh, is exciting. I think um, I think our guys look forward to to the challenge, and you know, being in the postseason for the sixth consecutive year is certainly very significant for our program and. I think our guys are very, very proud of, of that accomplishment. Um, you know, and again, we've just got to be focused and you know play well this Saturday, and you know not not look ahead, um, not anticipate anything that's going to happen on Sunday, and you know be the best football team that we can be. All right, coach, we wish you the best of luck this Saturday against Lycoming. You know, should be close game. Lycoming's been playing pretty well, um, and we'll chat next week. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.